Hey guys, my name is Ian McLean and I'm here to teach you some bow tricks. This is a tutorial on how to do that move you just saw. It's a move that is usually used in the demonstration team of Jack, Mike, Nick, and Ryan. We're going to be using this for everyone though. If you guys want to come on here and learn some bow tricks, that's great. This is, uh, I would classify this as an advanced trick. What you're going to need to know for this one is, first off, your basic figure eight. Next is behind the back. One handed spins. Lastly, throws. Those are the four things you're going to need to know. If you know all four of those, you'll be doing great with this, okay? So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with a wind-up, okay? So we're going to start off right with the wind-up position. First time we're going to do is a wind-up. We're just going to unwind and figure eight. So watching here, unwind, figure eight. Okay, so let's try one more time. Wind-up position again, should be behind the neck. Unwind, figure eight. From here, we're going to take the bottom of the bow, look straight up as we come up, okay? So we're going to step back, Bottom of the bow is going to come straight up. Watching me, the bottom of the bow as I step back, coming all the way up, just like that, right back into the position I was in. Okay, so one more time, unwind, figure eight. Bottom of the bow comes up as I step back, all the way back here. Okay, next move, step forward and figure eight. Really easy, just like that. Now here comes a little bit trickier part. Okay, both hands are facing up, not one down, one up not both down. They're both facing straight up. Figures are right here, okay? So from here, I pass off to my left hand, and as I step back, it'll go behind the back one more time. Boom. Just like that, right here. And then I unwind right back to here, okay? So let's try one more time. Here. Unwind. Figure eight. Coming all the way up. Figure eight stepping forward. Passing off with my left hand, behind the back, and unwind. Now, if you notice when you're here, you're, once you unwind, you're in the perfect position to do a one-handed spin. You do a one-handed spin, and then from here, this hand is still not doing anything. One-handed spin, and then you're going to throw up and catch. Alright, so let's try one more time. From here, this hand does nothing until the actual catch happens. So this hand's going to be behind my back, showing my audience that I'm not using it. Or you can choose to have it up. I prefer it behind the back. Here we go. One, and up, catch. Okay? And as you can see, when I catch it, I replace the other hand behind my back. Okay, so one more time, behind the back, throw up, catch. And as you can see, the other one's right behind the back. Spread all together, unwind, figure eight. Bow comes all the way up, stepping forward, figure eight. Pass off to the left hand, behind the back, here, one-handed spin, catch. From here, we're going to step forward and pass behind the back. So I just pass behind the back. This hand is already here. From this throw, this hand is already here and ready to grab that bow right there, okay? This last part is the easiest part. All I'm going to do is unwind and strike. Stepping back, unwind, and strike. Nice and strong, okay? Let's try it again. Unwind. Figure eight. Bring it all the way up. Step forward. Behind the back. Here we go. Spin. Catch. Pass off. Unwind. And strike. Now, this move is a very, very fast move. It doesn't look very complicated, or it isn't very complicated, but it looks really, really flashy, okay? So, it's going to be really, really fast, really, really fast. People aren't going to know what's going on. They're just going to see a bow flying around you. And what you're going to do at the very end, at the end of it all, you're going to land in a nice low stance and chia as loud as you possibly can. Now, that's going to be a nice pause. So, it's going to be really, really fast and a pause, trying to think of letting your audience keep up with what you're doing. So, from here... Up, behind in the back, spin, throw up, catch, here, and Kia, nice and loud, okay? So, all together, nice and fast, this is what it should look like once you're done. Next move. If you guys want to try and practice this by yourself in your room or outside, if in your room, use a bow, something that can imitate a bow. I'm not sure where you have some small object, you can imitate a bow. Also, if you want to come outside, that's great. If it's a nice day out, perfect way to get outside and do some practicing. Your bow, try and use it on the grass. I would not use it on tar because the bow may be able to scratch. Definitely use it on grass or your backyard. 
It's great if you guys want to watch the video, come outside, practice, keep it up. Nice job today.